Good morning. Welcome back, Scallywags. Super exciting. This day is the day home again is going back in the water. So, most of you have been following along for the last three and a half months out of the water. Remove the old Westerbeek V drive. Boom. Install a new sail drive with a beta, super serviceable. Here we go. Out in the water. We're going to get the lift in here this afternoon. Going to go splash it in and go do a little proper break in on the beta and a little seat trial so after all the long hard work from students and a lot of uh, the fiberglass work with mr mike and uh that's it so sit back and enjoy we're gonna put this thing in the water and go for a boat ride so there's our tack our thermal camera our microphones our drone our other camera good grief trying to document this stuff is a lot of work on the move, big shout out to North Harbor Diesel. They have a handful of our technicians working at their yard and they donated the trip down to the beach. Well, here we are, it's beautiful out. You notice they re-blocked the boat home again because we had to get across the field before four so they could set the cement blocks back up and lock the gate. And if you look down here at the water, it's low tide and we gotta have a couple more hours to get the water up deep enough to slide this thing off. So Mike and I are gonna have to go find a pint or something and uh, be back here at uh, six o'clock to actually do the splash, but we're getting one step closer to the beach. Okay, here's Art and I. We're riding her down the- Water to launch, Captain. Down to the beach. I do not like moving on land on these boats, but we're headed right there because the, the tide is up and that's going to be a good day just like that off the lift we went we fired it up before releasing make sure we had forward reverse and we just wanted to get over to the nearby dock right here pick up mike obviously checking for functionality make sure we're not taking on water all sorts of things like that we wanted to run her for a few minutes at the dock before we got underway captain what do you think Trust me, look at the camera. You know what you're going to be? Nervous. Yeah. Everything's new. Lines in. Lines are in. Check. You don't need any throttle. I know. Yeah. Trust me, she's got a ton of torque. She came off that lift, that was slowing her down. This will be the impressive part. Wait till you put it forward and turn the rudder. Do it right now. Good to go, huh? Good to go. Try it. Watch this. That three blade max. Look at that prop wash. Boss Doug. Once we knew we weren't taking on water, they were doing fenders and lifelines and such, but before we got to the actual sea trial, thermal image camera, cameras on a commissioning are fantastic. That's the heat exchanger, all warmed up, nice and even. That's what we were looking for. That's the uh, sail drive. The, the bright spot is the heater hose that runs around and um, for the red dot heater and then there's the exhaust elbow so we did extensive temperature testing at about 80 percent throttle uh, for a good while um, just to make sure that that everything was spot on in the way it should be with this new beta marine engine and it was wide open throttle test have you ever seen so much water i've never seen this much boat speed 7.89. Art, show me that attack again. Pretty close. <laughs> hey, Mike. Uh, thank you for loading the tubes. You betcha. The tubes are loaded. Um, apparently, it works. It works very well. Uh, I'm very pleased. Standard question. Are you happy? More than happy. Okay. 
Here's looking up your old address. There you go. So we uh, we can get all the way to 3450, right close to 3600. So I think we're pitched right. I think we're pitched right. I, I think it's gauche over, which is the way I love it. Yeah. Um, it's not a gauche over, it's gauche under. 3450. Well, the RPMs is gauche under, the pitch yeah, is yeah, 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 gauche yeah. over. Yeah. But, I saw like over seven knots in this thing. Like not such an ain't supposed to go that fast. Under sail they do. <laughs> well, <laughs> but we don't have a mask yet. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's next video. So we'll or an in between. We gotta go out to your shop, get all the stuff ready and put the stick on this thing so we can go sailing. Yeah, the bow is sitting a little high. I need some weight up forward. Yeah. The, the thing that I'm very pleased with is because the bow was always, I was always bow down. And what I wanted to do with this installation is to move everything aft. So when I put a 200 feet of 5 16 chain on it, I'm, I'm on the water line. Still on the water line. I think I'm going to be there. Yeah, I think I'm going to be there. Well, I have to say I'm happy to because uh, yeah. this project was awesome for students. It was awesome for the school. Our technicians are ready to graduate and go to work. And uh, you're ready to go sailing. Yeah. Points north, right? Our students know what a built rat is all about. Yeah. They know how to initiate a little bit of resin. And it was, it was, it was a good experience. And turns out it doesn't smoke out the back end when you give her here. Let's see. Any smoke? It's a lot of prop wash. Love it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, as we go to put the boat back away into home port there, big shout outs to Beta Marine West. Um, they dialed this in. Their recommendations for the engine was perfect. We originally thought we needed a 35 and they said the 30 would be perfect. That right there is a 20 horsepower and the other one's a 35. So we bought three motors from them, two to be turned into training aids for our students and and one of them the one on the left the 20 horse we've actually fired up and ran the four cylinder 35 horse there is the next one to be turned into a training aid we're going to put high output alternators on these and use them for for training our, our normal technicians so big shout out to them they they helped a lot and their recommendations were spot on so and it was a perfect flat calm day. We slipped back in, tied up the lines, and Mike was happy. So, Mr. Mike. Yes, sir. Tied back to the pier. Sea trial complete. We made it. Yep. Motor ran well. Was there any doubt? Seriously. Uh, there's always a little bit <laughs> well, of doubt. You had a loose washer right at the gate. We, we say, have Johnny. seen some things fall apart at the last minute. <laughs> right, right. But, but she did well. She did well. The... The motor uh, ran well. The the pitch on the prop, I think, is is perfect. Is perfect. Pretty close. Yeah. Pretty close. Pretty so close. Um, you know you got homework now. All Marine Tech students have homework. Yeah. You got to get at least ten hours on this before you head north and go on the rendezvous. Oh, we'll get ten hours on it. That's before no you leave. Before I leave, yeah. Okay. We got to get the stick on it. We get the stick, get the sail plan up, and yeah. But uh, but sailing doesn't count for engine hours. I'm talking ten <laughs> engine hours, not ten <laughs> sailing hours. Come on. After that perfect day on the water, downtown Anacortes has got a number of watering holes. The Brown Lantern here been around a long time. Wednesdays all you can eat gumbo so we decided that we were hungry and downtown we went to do a little a little celebration and reminiscing about the sea trial and how it went so here we are successful sea trial nothing fell off nothing broke nope. had a washer that rattled yeah a rattling that's, washer that's I mean for, if that's, that's the worst the, thing that that's, that's yeah. a sketch Valley comic card right there so Here's to your new motor. Yeah, and many, many miles, years of many miles good under the keel, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming with us, Art. Here's Opportunity Luke. knocks, you know. Opportunity to go for a boat ride anytime. So, yeah, everything's a win. Stay tuned next week for um, the mass. No. Reassembly, the sailing, the, the rest of the work. Just We're not a done. A sailboat ride. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. sailboat ride. But yeah. turns out. Mission accomplished. So Mission accomplished. for this week, stay tuned and thanks. 
Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out.